NFL draft, what a draft it was last week, but a few veterans over the last few days have signed contracts with new teams. So Darren Fells signs a deal here with the Detroit Lions. So the former Houston Texan, he was also a former Detroit Lion in 2017 in the only season he was there with Detroit. He played 16 games, 17 catches, 177 yards, and three touchdowns in his one season with Detroit. So it's Fells, he was a nice red zone target the last couple seasons for Deshaun Watson and the Texans. And I'm surprised it took him this long to find the contract here is Fells after the NFL draft. So right now it looks like he'll be the backup tight end going into the 2021 season behind TJ Hawkinson, who had a good year last year. But this Detroit Lion team, they're in need of a lot of playmakers, obviously, with Marvin Jones and Kenny Galladay leaving in free agency this offseason. So Fells here, they're going to probably use more two tight end sets with Jerry Goff as their new quarterback behind center in Detroit. In the last few seasons, while he was in Houston, 2019 for Darren Fells, 16 games he played, 48 targets. He caught 34 of them for seven touchdowns and 341 yards. And then last season with Houston, once again, 16 games, 21 catches on 28 targets, 312 yards, and four touchdowns. So obviously, he's not really a big yard guy, is Darren Fells, but he's a good red zone target, a big tall target that is as well at 6'7", 270 pounds. And this season with Detroit, like I said, they need some big guys in the middle of the field with losing Galladay and Jones. And I think Fells, he could have a decent role with this Lion team, even though he's going to be a backup tight end, like I mentioned to TJ Hawkinson. So he'll be decent in that role. But as far as fantasy football goes, I'm not going to draft Darren Fells in the summer when the fantasy football drafts kick off in a couple months here. He's going to be a backup, like I mentioned. And he was inconsistent last season with the yards. If he wasn't scoring touchdowns, he really had no fantasy value. Only for a couple weeks he did here and there. But it's a good move here for Detroit to get the backup in Fells with Josh Hill retiring. See what Darren Fells could do with the Detroit Lions and if he'll have any fantasy value, which I highly doubt entering the 2021 season.